Ladies and gentlemen, I have got a treat for you today. We are going to be having an exclusive look at the brand new Mantis Den enclosures. And welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So today, a box arrived. And in that box, flat packed, were beautiful acrylic panels ready for me to create the brand new Mantis Den enclosures. Now my particular product was actually a prototype version. There were posts put back, back along from Mantis Den showing these beauties off and I just knew I needed to get one. So to have this opportunity was absolutely mind blowing. So as you can see here, bubble wrapped was the acrylic panels to create this beautiful enclosure. Each segment had a film wrapping on either side to make it scratch proof in the post and when handling each piece. You simply peel those off which is always great fun, right? But mine didn't actually come with instructions being the prototype. I had to discuss with Mantis Den how I actually build this and I, I managed to do so even just off a picture. So it's really not that difficult once you know what you're doing. Yours, however, folks, will have a digital access to online instructions. So in this parcel, I also had all the fixtures and fittings. So in here, we had all our little corner pieces, as well as having all the screws necessary to make this build. And the lid part to this was great, because you had a choice whether you wanted to use metal mesh or fabric mesh on this build. And you can cut those strips to the correct size. I actually cut my fabric mesh a little bit late after doing so, so there's a few little jagged edges on the mesh, but you can tidy yours up really, really simply, and I could do so too by just unscrewing the four screws that go on the lid, but I'm a little bit lazy. You guys know how I can be, right? So the reason I chose fabric mesh was because I am going to keep this enclosure for a praying mantis. But you have that choice of metal mesh in case you want to house something like a tarantula or another invert that could easily chew through fabric. We have four strips of ventilation holes on this enclosure, two on either side panels to this construction. And on the top we have a nifty little lock just to secure your lid in place. It also comes with a little hinge that slots in upon your build. So now you've seen a few little clips of how this comes and how to expect your parcel, I'm going to have a quick chat with you about this product and then I'm going to reveal to you the final look of it and build it up with awesome decor and rehouse one of our very own Mantis into this enclosure. So as I said, mine was a prototype, meaning when you buy this guys, the dimensions might be slightly different. They are not just going to come in this size. You will have a choice of sizes for these enclosures, as well as the option for front opening instead of top opening, which is what really, really fascinates me about these products. Now, I would love to see the front opening. I don't know exactly what they look like, but I'm really excited to see them. Now I can't tell you a price tag yet because I honestly do not know and I also can't give you the official launch date yet but just bear in mind it is coming so make sure to keep your eyes on the Mantis Den page. You can follow him through Facebook or on his website. Links will be in my description below so keep on watching and in fact if you like what you see here today contact Mantis Den, let them know that you saw it on my channel because it's really nice to get a bit of feedback for my reviews. Now you know me guys, I'm an honest guy. Um, I don't always review on top marks. And if I'm gonna say the build was a little fiddly, however, like I said, I didn't have instructions to do so. And once I got into it, it was really actually quite simple. And I think once I built one or two of these, I'll be able to build them just like clockwork. Really, really simple. So let's have a look at what this enclosure looks like now, and then let's decorate it for one of our own praying mantis. So here on my spinny thingy majiggy, we have the mantis den enclosure, perfectly crystal clear pieces of acrylic, including the bottom there. Now, as you can see, the lid goes slightly inwards and here is a mantis den card. So as you can see, they don't just do enclosures guys, they actually breed and supply live mantis themselves. Now here is the fabric mesh top and as you can see, I did leave a little bit of a jagged side to the mesh, but you can chop that into place. 
and here we have the little catch to lift the lid. Now I'm not going to do that while it's spinning because I don't want to cause any damage to this enclosure. Now I do have a few fingerprints on here because as I said it took me a little while to get used to this build without my instructions and as I've also said you will have instructions with yours upon the launch of these beauties. So here is what I wanted to show you about the lid. It's a very simple lift lid. And as you can see, you can just simply leave it there and it stays open. No worrying about it slamming down on your animals. This is a very lightweight enclosure and it's very, very easy. Little squeak there that might just need a little bit of adjusting where I've tightened it. And you can simply pop in, there we go, the little lock in place. Now, I don't even think I would need that unless I was housing a tarantula because sitting just simply like that is fine as well. If you're going to be accessing this enclosure, that's heavy enough that a mantis won't be able to push it up. But always make sure that you do lock your inverts away, especially if it is tarantulas. But when you're used to dealing with them like me, I may not even use the locking system. But I'm so glad they have one in place. Now, as you can see, I also have a slight indent here. I could have stretched this fabric a bit further. You can make yours look as awesome as you want, the more time and care you put into this enclosure. So without further ado, folks, I'm now going to decorate this enclosure, house a mantis in it, and then I'm gonna give you my marks out of 10 on this beauty. But you've got to agree, just from here, right, that this is absolutely stunning. Let's see if I can make it even more stunning. Cheers, mantis den. I'm well happy with this. So are you guys ready to see with the design that I came up with in this enclosure? Bearing in mind, I didn't know that this would actually arrive today, so I had no preparation for decor. I'm simply using what I have found already within the realm. And this is what I came up with. So here we have it on my whirly magig stand, thingy majiggy, the spinner. What do you think of this enclosure? So again, I have just used bits and bobs I had lying around, some moss, some leaves, some cool little branches and a few fake plants. Let's have a little look on the inside. Okay, so here we have it. So I've tried to align these twisty sticks and branches to allow any mantis of the size that I currently keep to be able to molt successfully. However, it is a little crowded in certain areas, so as this mantis grows that we're about to put in, I may kind of decrease the amount of branches to stand on. Of course, they have the middle molting platform at the top there as well as ventilation, but as you can see, it only leaves a small sort of gap for the mantis to hang from. But the species I'll be putting in here today is actually a little small for this enclosure, but I think it'll be worth it, especially as it grows. This little beauty here, the P. medioconstrictor, commonly known as a double shield mantis, a species that comes from Indonesia. So having a slightly more humid environment in a setup like this would be perfect. Let's get this one out and have a look because when you last saw this one, it was about two molts behind what it is now. Oh, he's already eager. He or she, I haven't actually tried sexing this one yet. There it is. Look at the beautiful colorations on that. Let's bring it against the black. Now, this is absolutely stunning, right? You can't say it isn't. The stripy legs, the greens and browns and burgundies. This is a gorgeous mantis. And before I was a YouTuber, I actually had this species before I knew what I was doing properly. And sadly, I failed it at about 6th Insta. Well, I suppose that isn't too bad for somebody who was completely new. Now, these have been considered fairly beginner species, but not like 100% beginner beginner super easy, and I'm guessing that's to do with humidity levels. But anyway, we can do future informational videos on Mantis another time. I just wanted to show off the enclosure and my little beauty here today. So, Let's see if this one will come in while I'm one-handed. I highly doubt it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just hanging out on the edge there. Bit of grooming, pretty chilled. Kind of want you to go and explore your enclosure though. So it's already comfortable. I've read these tend to be quite skittish, 
Mine isn't too bad. And the one that I had previously also wasn't too bad. I might have just got lucky. Hello! Look at that face. That's adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Anyone who says otherwise, you're a liar. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps if we can uh, get you to move. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, the curiosity. Oh, my God. You're a cute little alien, aren't you? All right, come on, you. No. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to put the camera down to get it in. Are you really going to be a pain in the butt? Look, it looks like a naughty dog. You know when naughty dogs just look at you? They know that they've been naughty. You are a naughty dog. Naughty dog mantis. <sighs> Come on then. And finally it's in. Didn't even have to film this one on Kimura BR filming area. Because he's small enough that I can get the entire setup in the video. Without having to reveal the sides of the tank. Now let's see how viewable the tank is through the plastic. We've had brief looks before. You see, compared to not, it is not that bad at all. These are actually crystal clear, but obviously cameras do pick up a slight difference. But do use. Now before I end this video, I would like to give mention of a channel. It is a Mantis channel, so if you are interested in Mantis, there is a fairly new channel out that I thoroughly enjoy. And that channel's name is The Caledonian Lair. They've actually recently brought out merchandise as well, and it looks really cool. I love their logo. So I will put a link in the description as well. If you go past the Mantis Den information, you will get the link to The Caledonian Lair. So show the person some love and check out their Mantis collection. Bit of a pretty chunky upgrade, right? So yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today, showing off this awesome enclosure. I really, really do like it. I'm not just saying it for the sakes of Mantis Den, I actually really enjoy it. I'm going to go and give this a 9 out of 10, and the only reason I'm not giving it 10 out of 10 was just because it's actually fairly fiddly to put together. But as I said, once you get used to it, it's no problem at all. So yeah, high scoring from me, absolutely love it. When launch date appears, if I've got the cash, I'm going to have to buy some more of these because I adore them. Perfect size, perfect stability. Look at that, look, even with my rubbish DIY skills, you can't separate the plastics. It was great. So folks, if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. That's going to be it from me. Make sure to check out the Mantis down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.